So now if, if you look at all those rows again, hope you will have, you now have a much better idea what, what's the difference. For a data infrastructure engineer, usually you don't require very high business knowledge. When you handle the data, you don't have to know what does the data mean. You just want to make sure the data coming in without missing uh, with right quality. Um, and for data engineer, data engineer need to know some of the business knowledge because you are the one to clean the data to be the format that analyst, scientist, BI engineer will need. So you actually want, need to know what does each column mean um, to understand how you want to format the columns. Um, for BI, BI engineer, it's uh, need to know quite a bit of business knowledge because you need to build the, the dashboard for business user. Uh, analyst, analyst, data scientists, all those need to know a lot about the business because those roles are the roles that's closer to application and user of the, the business. A machine learning engineer doesn't need to know too much because machine learning engineer will all, when it gets to machine learning engineer, usually the model is already built. You know what model you want to build. Um, it's more about how to deploy the model. If you look at production, how close each role is to production system, um, data infrastructure, data engineer, they, and also machine learning engineer, they are directly in the production system. Uh, BI engineer really depends. Some BI engineer only need to take care of just use the BI tool. So it's not exactly production system, but some BI engineer may have better engineering background. So they will somehow help, sometimes help data engineer to build a pipeline all the way um, to the BI tool. So it really depends. Uh, data analysts usually don't touch production system. Um, data scientists and data research scientists usually don't, don't work with production system. It's more about ad hoc analysis or, or um, using a sample of data to do the modeling. Um, but data scientists and applied scientists, those are sometimes uh, they will work with production depending on how strong your engineering background is and what type of company you're working on. Applied scientists is more uh, engineer heavy than data scientists. In terms of the data frequency, you're gonna handle, uh, as I said, data infrastructure engineer usually will process very high frequency data, real time, get the data in. And data engineer is also handle high frequency data, but not as high as data infrastructure engineer. Um, in terms of BI engineer, data analysts and scientists, research scientists, all these roles are not so real time. It's more uh, ad hoc. Applied scientists and machine learning engineer because they are closer to production system. So they will handle uh, higher frequency data. In terms of engineering skill, um, so engineer usually require more uh, higher engineering skill. Other than BI engineer, um, it's in the middle because it's it's the somewhere between engineer and analyst. So uh, the engineer, you don't, it doesn't require that high engineering skill compared to other engineer role. Um, data analysts usually require very uh, low engineering skill other than some ad hoc analysis you use R or use Python or even just um, SQL to do analysis. That's, that's about, about it, about engineering skill. Um, data scientists and research scientists, a, so they, some people are talking about educating data scientists to have more engineering skill. I think that's very helpful. It will help data scientists to build the model that's easier to put into production system. In general, they don't have as high of the engineering skill as the real engineer for sure. In terms of math and stats um, background, usually the data scientists and research scientists have, they have the highest um, math and stats background. Applied scientists, sometimes if you are um, actually, if you are um, sort of like machine learning engineer type of applied scientist, um, you might not, may not have as high 
massive stats background as some of the applied scientists that's from more massive stats background. So that depends. Um, and they, for data infrastructure engineer, data engineer, they usually don't need to have too much uh, mass and stats background. In terms of structured data, um, data infrastructure, data engineer usually will handle both structured and unstructured data. Um, and BI engineer and data analysts and research scientists, the data usually are structuralized. Um, data scientists, um, it, most of data scientists handle structured data, but if you are handling image data or text data, that's that's possible. In, in that case, you uh, you usually handle uh, the unstructured data for that application. Um, machine learning engineer, depending on the machine learning model, the source data of the machine learning model, so it can be both. So now you can see all those roles, they are different uh, across like business knowledge, production, data frequency, and different requirement on engineering skill and mass stats and structure unstructured data. Um, if, if you are thinking about data science career, you have to put yourself under this framework to know what exactly is your role, like based on your current background. If you haven't started, you want to find, find a place to start your career, where should you start? If you are from a pure stats background and you want to be a data engineer, it will be difficult. Uh, or if you want to be a machine engineer, it's very difficult. If you are pure computer science background, all of a sudden you want to be a data scientist, a research scientist, it, it, it may be harder. Um, you can also, if you want to get to that role, you will know what type of knowledge you may want to learn to get you, yourself there. 